catch up a bit today on a few things. A lot of these projects and videos have been kind of overlapping. So today I'm gonna address a few things and we're gonna get caught up to speed on everything in the garage. Kind of end of the year, um, little recap real quick. We're gonna cut to this right now because I filmed this video and we never really finalized it because, well, well you'll just see what happened. Mm -hmm. You see? Really? Like actually? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you can double check if yeah, it's all there. RJ really buying the Zuma. This is, uh, this is the scooter, 24 hours. 24 hours after RJ buys it. This is new. Um, this, that's new. The gauges are remounted now, but they were off. Brake lever was snapped. Bought a new one, but it's the wrong one. Yeah, this is, yeah, <clears throat> literally everything. Yeah, my homie, um, my homie crashed the pad. Um, he broke his hand. The whole thing gone. <laughs> the, the, dude. So one thing I learned is not this letting is... other people ride my stuff unless it's Look Trevor. Look that. that oh, relax, relax, because once that's done, the whole thing. Done. Yeah, the whole, the whole entire thing. Brandon, yeah, you barely have any plastics. Brandon, I need some plastics, and I need uh, free one-day shipping because I purchased two-day shipping from your company for my throttle cable and it's still not here. It says it's gonna be here Monday. I ordered that shit on Thursday. It's not, that's not two days business. So I'm gonna need a free all plastic day shipped. So RJ bought the Zuma and that was gonna be a, a video of its own. We we're gonna go on a ride. I ended up filming the whole ride. My GoPro crashed, lost the whole ride, of, um, lost all that footage, but it was fun regardless. So that video kind of sat and then RJ ended up selling me back the scooter because he had to get rid of it. So now I bought the scooter back. So there was really no video anymore of RJ buying the scooter because we had no video and he didn't buy the scooter. So I already bought the Zuma back. That's the finish on that. Um, currently trying to sell the blaster, trying to sell the stroker, clean up a few of these projects because if you notice, we're still missing one pre-bug. Not only the frame that I just got that I'm building currently in this video, but uh, we're still missing the stock 1990 pre-bug. That's in my buddy's house because when we were designing these 12 bars, we left it at his house and uh, that's just where it lies. I gotta go pick that thing up. So we have one more scooter to add into the garage and then we also are down a Banshee right now because my Banshee is currently sitting in the shop at my local cycle shop inside on the showroom. But the bug's in the garage now. We're one step closer to working on the bug. And uh, I'm just going to go over a glimpse of everything. I'm not going to go in super detail. Uh, stock Banshee sitting over here. Nice, pretty, tucked away. Poo 50 build is going to be something for next year. That's going to be something in the very beginning of next year as well. Because that's going to be a pretty big project as well. And I want to know more about it before I just go in. I haven't built one of these motors yet. So I still have a lot of research to do. And uh, what route I want to take with this thing. So still looking at stuff like that. GP1 needs a little love and some tuning. My main focus is to finish up this beginning of this next year. Is going to be straight away, obviously, the new pre-bug build. That one was a quick turnaround. Um, like the Pook 50 could be a quick turnaround, but there's so much more I can go with that and like learning things. And I want to take like steps with it. Whereas the Zuma, I've done it so many times, I know exactly what I'm going to do. So it's just like pull the trigger, order everything, and put it all together. So uh, that's what we're doing with that bad boy. And uh, F12, there's still a few things open on the list, so I think that's going to be a continuous project still, as it's always been. The purple Elite, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty much done. Like, I don't want to change anything on this bike. I Like, aesthetically, this is what I wanted. I wanted a clean purple Elite, and I wanted it just simple on some chrome wheels, lower down, and a 72 kit. I don't want something super aggressive. This bike is pretty much... Uh, I'd almost say complete. Same as this bike. Everything that I would want to change on this bike, I'm doing on my new build. So there's no reason to change this bike. So this bike, uh, maybe in the near future, might be up north, up in the Oregon area, left up there. So I would be able to fly up there and have a bike to ride up there. I think that's what's going to be the plan with this bike in the future, since the bike I'm building is pretty much going to replace this one. And we still have another pre-bug. So it's like, there's, we don't need all this here. And then Stroker Elite, sadly, I would want to sell just because it's really not my flavor like i don't know i built this thing it's really fast don't get me wrong it's really cool because it's an elite i really i really like the wheelies and you can wheelie a stroker obviously but it's just 
it's not as fun. Just like wheeling in the GP1 is just not as fun. You want to go fast when you're on a bike that's that fast. So I'm not looking for a crazy top speed. Although it is cool, I must say that my truthful taste is just a simple, nice, clean, peppy build that wheelie's good. Like I just like a fun scooter. E36 needs some love, but we won't go over too much on that because that's just always a continuous project when it's a drift car. Um, plans for this thing. It's really going to be, I think, up to you guys. I kind of want to leave an open build on the channel, and um, I really want to see something different. Like, I thought about making an off-road scooter. I don't know if that'd be something that would be entertaining to watch, but putting big knobbies on it, maybe beefy up the suspension, and be able to, like, jump this thing around. Catching up on the Backyard Elite Barn Find. I have cleaned it up so much back here compared to how you saw it, but uh, we picked up the Spree. We got the Spree and the Tact, which are 100% being kept. These are going to be my bikes. I might be doing projects on these in the future. That will be something more later in the year. Uh, 87 is literally currently being parted out as we speak right now. So this might be something that's a fun project here in the future. Never mess with these. Um, but we got two GoPeds for 50 bucks, 25 bucks a piece. And uh, one has a pipe on it. And uh, yeah, I never mess with these, so if you have any interest in these, or maybe you have some yourself, comment down below if you want to see these appear on the channel at some point. 150 GY6. I've thought about a few things with this thing. I was thinking it might be a good bike to do a giveaway with. Well, how do you guys feel about maybe doing a giveaway? I was 100,000 subscriber giveaway. We're almost at 70K. Hopefully we can hit that 100,000 subscriber mark this coming up year or sooner. Who knows? You never really know with YouTube, but that would be... It's definitely a cool thing to do a giveaway with if we ever hit that mark. RJ's 150 scooter, that's going to be something very, very soon that we're going to be fixing because we currently are working on that a little bit. Some parts just showed up for that. Um, Pal, Skyler wants this Pal, and then this 89, who knows what I'm going to do with it. This might be parted out, this might be kept. This is kind of like the who knows what pile. Tandem scooter, would you want to see Tandem scooter reappear on the channel at some point? And then we got, of course, my other 89 back there. So. That's just a glimpse of some of the projects. We obviously have so much more stuff that we could potentially be working on and talking about and all that stuff. But I kind of just wanted to end the year on a little garage, like recap, you know, see what we've done. We've done a lot of projects throughout this year. We probably bought up to like maybe 20 bikes, 15, 20 bikes um, this last year. A personal thank you to everyone who has supported the channel and currently watches the channel. Your support means a bunch and the fact that you actually like watching the videos as much as I like, like working on them and really entertained by this stuff is the reason I pull out the camera and actually do this stuff. And of course, Happy New Year to everybody. Happy holidays to you and your family. Um, get some of those projects done. Let's get a goal for next year. Finish up some of these projects and let's get some new projects in. Well, boys, I think it's time we're getting rid of the blaster. We got rid of a few projects this month already. Um, the blaster was a quick little... She was a fun little scoop. I probably only rode her maybe two times, but she's mint, bro. We cleaned this thing up so much. We got it for $800, I think it was, $700, somewhere around there. And we did so much little things to this thing just to make it a complete mint bike. Like, this bike is something that's going to be dialed in. I listed that thing with a few of my other projects that I barely ever ride because, like I've said in the last few videos, boys, I really need to clear up some of these projects to so be able to stack a little bit more and be able to move on to the next big project. It's hard when you're spread so thin with like 20 different projects that it's hard to, you know, value one really high when you're trying to keep them all maintained everything like that. Blasters are cool. You can always come up with another blaster. You know, it's nothing, nothing too crazy. And as you notice, the blaster is gone. The blaster got sold. Um, so now we picked up back the stock pre-bug, which has been gone for quite some time now, but she's back in the garage. Uh, it's good to see her back in here again. So, Alright boys, well I think that's going to do it where we end the year recap of the garage. I forgot to mention the MB5 too. We have some things coming for the MB5. We just picked up my new ported Polini cylinder for the MB5. We also have a whole N MB5 engine right here which we might split open, do a crank and do all that as well. So there's still a lot to come boys and a lot I didn't even mention in this video. And I don't want to show it right now but there's a project right behind my hand here that we just picked up last week that's going to be the first thing of the new year that we start getting into a whole new adventure pretty much on the channel so got our zuma and we got the parts dropped off for powder coating so we should be finishing this one up soon and uh, you'll see the motor build a few quick little surprises on that as you see back there we got a few things added to the motor build so that's coming soon as well and as you can see the blaster was confirmed sold no more blaster and as you saw we also bought this bike back so 
RJ bought it, owned it for about 48 hours, uh, wrecked it a bunch, and kind of destroyed it within like 48 hours when we bought it back. Who knows what's to come next year, but all we can do is stay tuned. Happy New Year to everybody, and I hope you have a safe New Year, and uh, big things coming 2023. Keep your eyes out straight in the beginning of the year. We got a whole bunch of stuff coming, merch, parts, projects, just, just so much to come, and I'll see you guys in the next one.